Ratchet and Clank walk through, so now that we are done with talking to the captain, we need a pilot helmet, and the only place to get a pilot helmet is on Planet Gaspar. So, first thing, uh, head on back to your ship and then stock up on ammo if you need it. If not, just go on over and let's start heading toward Planet Gaspar as soon as I check through some of the menus. So, of course, when you're looking through missions to do, it's best to try to do earlier planets that you haven't completed yet, and check back every now and then just to make sure that you have completed them. That way you can be absolutely sure that you uh, have what you need. So, I have th these ones completed, and that one, Explore the Wild Silly, can't really do quite yet. So, uh, we'll just be heading on over to Gaspar, and... I was looking at this one too for searching the laboratories. I guess you could go to Orkson if you want to, but either way, we want to get that pilot's helmet so we can actually do some jet fighting, which is a lot of fun. So then head on over to the planet and let's sit through the loading screen. I'm assuming this is a loading screen because this game doesn't have loading screens and this is the only part of the game you can't really skip, so I'm going to guess that that's just the loading screen. And this planet is flat out, without a doubt, the hardest level that I have ever had to do in this game. And that's kind of sad because even the final level, the final level's really long, but it wasn't as hard as this stupid. It didn't give me nearly as many problems as this did. Now there is another world that is almost as bad, but this one in particular was difficult. So I cut out my like 15 tries that it took me to do this and finally got the successful one. And the reason for that are these little bombs that took me forever to figure out how to deal with. And on top of that, there's a ton of these enemies down the first time you walk in there. So stock up on ammo, like I said, if you need it, because you are going to need it. And it's worth spending those bolts just so you can uh, actually not end up dying here. And I, for some reason, I keep wanting to call bolts caps. But anyway, so... Uh, these enemies do drop uh, kind of different colored bolts. I don't know exactly. I think I think they give you. I think they're more valued bolts, but I don't know if they are or not. So anyway, uh, you're gonna notice a turret there that you're gonna have to jump in, and you're also gonna get pummeled by this guy. And as you see, he just utterly destroyed me. So I kept that one in on purpose. That was one of my many many attempts of trying to succeed in this part, and clearly I did not succeed there. And that guy, like, I could not believe that I couldn't hit him, and at that point I almost gave up for the day, but I wanted to try once more, and the thing is, you really need to pay attention to everything going on around you, because he's going to be shooting you, and there's going to be that little thing that spawns all of those ridiculously stupid uh, bots here. And the bots, while they're not really any harder than any other tiny enemy in this game, there's just so many of them, and when you're trying to dodge the other guy, it's pretty easy for them to hit you. So. When you're ready, push triangle to jump on into uh, the turret and then blow up this wall. And if you can get to this turret quick enough, you're pretty much invincible inside of it so you can blow up uh, other people. And right now, there were bombs there that I just shot at. And uh, you, like that bomb right there, I just shot at those as many as I could reach with uh, that turret. Because these bombs are the worst enemies in this game. You can only really blow them up with a... Uh, Devastator for a one-hit kill, and I'm sure there's a few other weapons like the Rhino and the maybe even the Glove of Doom, but otherwise, if they lock onto you, what they're gonna do is follow you and they're gonna stay right next to you and then explode. And the way you need to deal with that is wait for them to start flashing red and then whack them with your ratchet straight away and try to send them away from you. Sometimes, though, that doesn't always work. They don't get sent away from you far enough or you don't hit them soon enough or you hit them too late or you don't hit them at all, and it's just... They're almost a guaranteed hit as soon as they lock onto you, and especially in this part, that's really bad because the checkpoint uh, for most of this level is all the way back next to your ship. So, uh, take out which you can, or take out the bombs that you can with a Devastator. Now, if you shoot them from far enough away with a blaster, then they'll blow up before they can reach you, but just remember that you need to be pretty far away because they can run, or they can fly faster than you can run. So just shoot them once with a blaster to get them onto you, and then you can just kind of run away, wait for them to blow up, you should be able to hear it, and then you won't have to deal with the robots here, those robotic bombs here. Now this really was the hardest part for me, it was just trying to get past this area, those 15 tries I mentioned earlier were uh, just trying to get to this stupid turret. So, 
Now that you're here, you can turn it, turn it around and then blow up this other wall, and then you can jump on inside. There's also a couple of caps, or not caps, see, I did it, I called them caps. There's a couple of bolts you can get if you blow up those uh, almost indestructible boxes, and then you can try to blow up a couple of other things if, if you want to. I mean, it's kind of cool being in the turret. Now you can go back the long way, or you can just sprint and jump on over there, and then switch to your Glove of Doom is what I found to be one of the easier ways to get past this, because we're going to be running into even more... Uh, more bots here and there's going to be so many you can barely see those bombs but there's going to be so many of these uh, guys that are going to be running out to you trying to lure you inside so if you throw in a glove of doom then they're going to go in and take out some of these bots for you and or some of the bombs for you and you shouldn't have to deal with hardly any of them so when in doubt just throw in another glove of doom and you should be able to deal with them just fine the decoy glove i i don't think you can buy it yet but eventually when we run into more of these the decoy glove will uh, be useful because then the bombs will go after that instead of you uh, so don't underestimate the power of the decoy glove and sometimes i underestimate the power of it but Anyway, we make it through pretty, pretty, I made, I made it through pretty well. So, in this room, you'll notice a bunch of guns, and luckily you don't have to fight the tanks, because they are decommissioned or something, so all you have to do is lure out the guys with the bombs, and once again, the uh, Doom Glove will be your friend here. So there's, I don't know, what, eight, eight of these enemies, and the rockets are pretty much going to meet you wherever, however far you stand back, so just... Make sure you don't get hit by them. I think my, either my glove of, my glove of doom, my glove of boom, anyway. <laughs> so hard to say for some reason. My glove of doom, I think, killed the guy back there, or they friendly fired each other, I don't know which. And then just to make things easier, I blasted him with the devastator, so I didn't even have to deal with getting up close to him. So you can take a look in between all the tanks if you want to. I mean, these tanks are pretty cool, especially for <laughs> a game this old. It's just... Kind of fun how this stuff is. And then you're going to be running into even more of these guys in here. So, once again, I'm going to pull out the Devastator, take them out one by one, so you just don't have to, flat out don't have to deal with them. And then you can blow up these uh, maps here. Now, there's really no reason to do this. It's just kind of cool. Oh, and there's, surprise, there's about two more that jump down. So, Glove of Doom is another option here, which is what I am using. Or you can try to angle it where you can hit them with a... Uh, a devastator or you can do it the hardcore way walk right in and kill him with your wrench but I think do I take this guy out with my wrench I can't remember I guess I use the blaster so when uh, one of these guys isn't bad but okay I do take it with the wrench that's interesting anyway one of those guys is not a pain to deal with but five of them is so uh, just try to take out as many as you can uh, so anyways uh, when you'll need to get back into the turret and bust open yet another door but you can also destroy these maps if you want to. I just thought it was kind of fun how destructible this game was. I mean, it's so old and you can destroy all this stuff. Destructibility is another one of those things that games love to, these days, modern games love to brag about. But look at these old games. They have, they have destructibility. I mean, it's not a new concept. <laughs> it's just, man, it's just weird how how quickly the people forget about stuff. So. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not trying to go on saying, oh, old games are the only good games. No, 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 no. Uh, definitely not. But marketing for the old games definitely was better than marketing for the new games. So this is where the pilot's helmet is, and that'll basically be it for the end of the video here soon. I think there's still a few more things we have to do, though. I'll just take a look. Or maybe not. Nope, okay, there's a pilot helmet, and that's it for me. Oh yeah, more of these stupid bombs. If you have enough health here, it's probably best for you just to take the damage because uh, I forgot about them. Or, you know, stay back and glove of doom them. So anyway, that is it for this video. <laughs>